Hey everyone, this is a video to show a lot of updates to the Monocle View extension for Dynamo. So if you're not familiar, uh, Monocle is available on the Package Manager. It's a view extension and it offers a whole bunch of cool stuff in a menu called Monocle. It offers things like an alignment tool, sticky notes for quickly just adding notes to. Uh, so if you wanted to insert stuff from a code block, you could. It has stuff like custom colored grouping that's persistent. So if you're working through a model or a project um, within Dynamo and you want to group things, you can kind of pick some predefined group colors that you can reuse over and over. And you can also customize it quite a bit, which is nice. Uh, these values are defaulted, but they will, if you change them, they will save as well. Um, so the custom colored grouping is a popular one. Uh, we also have a package usage thing. So what it does is it tells you what packages are currently in use in your graph based on what you have installed. And it'll actually let you add a note to all of the packages as well. So in my case, this graph, I have a couple custom nodes from packages that I have installed uh, that I can then annotate. So what we're able to do is annotate a Dynamo graph before we send it off to someone with the name and the version on every node that has that. Uh, so that's really important when you're delivering a Dynamo graph to somebody. In addition to this, we have, yeah, that's about it right there. Uh, in regards to some of the updates, so those tools have always been in the extension. Uh, one that came up recently was making these little alignment things stay persistent, and they do now. Another one was if you use the out of the box alignments, so we'll right click, align, left. By default, the out of the box tool will align everything within the group. So what we'll do is we'll hit undo. So it came up that somebody wanted to be able to select these two groups and click on align and just align the groups. So now Monocle can actually do that. So if I were to cross select them and align right, that will work as well. If I were to combine a selection of nodes and groups, it will align all of those things as well. Even cooler is if I were to specifically pick like these two nodes and align left, it'll still do it, but Dynamo has to kind of catch up as well. Uh, so that is one of like the known little bugs really, is uh, Dynamo needs to refresh. Um, it will also do these alignments without an undo. Uh, so that's kind of one of the downsides of changing this method is once I align that, I won't be able to undo that individual alignment. So that's something to keep in mind now with this revision. Additionally, in the align a fire window, um, these alignments also match the new method that I've developed for this. Um, a couple new features. Uh, so what we could do is we can see this graph I'm in uh, has a lot of unresolved nodes. These are nodes from Revit specifically, and I'm in Dynamo Sandbox. Uh, I don't know where any of these nodes are from specifically, um, very easily at least. So now, this is like a super beta feature, but now if you were to come in and right-click on a node, we'll notice that we have all the typical items. In addition, we have lookup node source. What this does is it will look up a list of nodes and see if it could find the package for where this node could come from. Uh, this is only going to do it based on packages from the package manager um, as of the published date of Monocle. So it's kind of it's kind of the simplest implementation to where I'm searching a dictionary of nodes. Um, so it's not making a web request or anything because that would just take too long. Instead, it just looks up really quickly some of the most popular packages and where this node might be from. Uh, really quick, too. So if we go through and right-click, it'll tell us where some of these unresolved nodes might come from. So what we'll do is we'll do lookup node. This one's from Clockwork. Uh, even if it's not unresolved, it'll still try to look it up for you. Uh, another known um, kind of glitch with this right now is this is an out-of-the-box node. It also has that lookup, and then I don't have that as a package because it's an out-of-the-box node, so it doesn't know what to do with that. Uh, additionally, if we have out-of-the-box nodes like, let's see, list create, 
uh, that will not get the right click option because I know that that's an out of the box node. Uh, some of them are a little harder to pinpoint, so you might still get it. Um, but for the most part, this should be working on pretty much any custom package, at least all the ones on the package manager. Uh, so that's a new feature to test. If there's anything with it that seems weird, let me know and uh, we can revise it as needed as well. Uh, we also have a few more features that we're adding under the view menu, uh, 3D view options. So let's actually navigate to another Dynamo graph that has some 3D stuff uh, to see how those work. So it'll run and it'll make my little pumpkin from Halloween. So what we can do is under view, 3D view options, monocle, we have a few different options now which are really cool. We now have a button for toggle view cube. So if I am in the 3D view, I now have a view cube available to me that I can click on and navigate to all sides of my geometry. Top view, bottom view, front view, and the side views. This is awesome because as you're working with geometry, it gets kind of difficult to get a view just like you want. Like if I were to try to get the front view, I can get close, but I'll never get as close as an actual view cube gets. So that's now available as well. Um, if you go back to view, you'll see that it's checked and when you uncheck it, it'll go away. So we'll turn the view cube back on and then we'll toggle camera if info. Uh, this one's not immediately as useful, but I just thought it was kind of cool to see. You can see all of your data from your camera inside of your 3D view. So as you're orbiting around, you can start to have that data, that stuff kind of geeks you out a little bit. Uh, I think it's kind of cool to have, um, so I added it. Uh, another one that I think is really cool. So typically in Dynamo, you right click to orbit around your object and you zoom in and out and pan. Um, one feature I really like is Informant. Uh, they have this ability to walk around or fly around. Uh, so what we could do is enable that mode now in Dynamo. So what we do is we hold down the right click button and we roll the mouse wheel and we can actually like fly around now. Really cool because this motion is a little bit nicer for getting really close to things and then panning back out and seeing what's going on. So as I'm like looking around, I'm moving like the character's head around, I can start to fly around my model in a really cool way. Uh, I really like this mode because it just lets you get a little more in depth on some of the features of your geometry that you're creating. So that's kind of fun. Uh, once again, all of these options have the checkbox. So when you disable it, it kind of goes back to where it was. Uh, we can actually center the view and it'll work as expected. Uh, so there it is, uh, quite a few little features uh, being added to Monocle. I wanted to create a quick video to show how they work and check them out and let me know what you think. Thanks.